Nisha and as you can tell from the title of this video this is going to be a wash and go with no gel. I know I know I'm shocked too I'm shocked too but I thought about the first time I attempted a wash and go without gel it was way 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 back in the day and my wash and goes they weren't hitting on anything. I was still in the process of like learning how to do wash and goes. So I was like, let me, let me just try it. Let me see what, what will happen now that I am not a pro, but I'm more comfortable with doing wash and goes. Let me just play around. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and become a part of the fam. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you subscribe and if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss out on a new upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So I've already washed my hair, deep condition, all that good stuff. I will link all of my wash day products down below in the description box so you can check them out. I do want to mention that I've already added in my leave-in. First, I went in with my spray bottle of aloe vera juice. Well, I keep this in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. And the cold aloe vera juice closes my cuticle up. And then I went in with my favorite... y'all this is my favorite this is the three-in-one revitalize and refresh conditioner it is a co-wash leave-in detangler if y'all are no stranger to my videos you know that I talk about this product all the time because it legit is my favorite product in life like no lie it is my favorite product in life and I've just been experimenting with other leave-ins so I've kind of hadn't used this in a while but as soon as I put this in my hair like I remembered why it was my favorite but <laughs> yeah it's enough rambling I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm still using this it's still my favorite it's bomb so for my cream moisturizer and also my styler I'm going to be using the melanin twist elongating style cream I have done a review I did a braid out with this and I've also used this as a wash and go as my styler before but I paired it with a gel I have both those videos linked above in the cards my just general review on this and also using this as a wash and go and I battled it with the Mish Beauty um, twisting butter as well but anyways this is the product that I'm going to be using today, and I'm going to see what it can do without a gel. So, y'all wish me luck because I got places to be tomorrow, and I just hope that this turns out well. We're just going to take a little bit of this. Well, that's a little bit to me. And just rub it in this back section. I thought that using this melanin twist elongating style cream um, in conjunction with my 3-in-1 leave-in by the main choice, I thought it would be a really good combo because both of them just like melt into my hair. Um, there's really no like white residue or um, product like sitting on my hair. I feel like both of them just really penetrate and absorb into my hair really well. I don't know y'all, I'm not getting like a lot of definition, especially in my roots. I'm seeing more so just like poofiness. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of my Trader Joe's coconut oil on top just to help lock in and seal in the moisture. I also went and grabbed my spray bottle because I feel like I might have more success if my wa my hair is a little bit more soaking wet. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to keep applying the melanin cream and also the coconut oil. Spray my hair with water as need be. I'm just going to do repeat that throughout my hair and I'm just gonna let y'all listen to some music while I apply these products. I'm 
applying the melanin twist elongating style cream and also my coconut oil to my hair and I already know like it's gonna be big hair <laughs> like my hair is still very much so wet and it's already very big and voluminous so I can only imagine what's look what it's going to look like when it's dry my curls are defined Definitely not defined as they would be if I had used a gel, but they are defined. Um, my only concern right now is that my roots are puffy. They're poofy, they're big, they're f a little bit frizzy, but hey, we're going to just a roll with it. I am going to air dry. I probably will have to diffuse my hair a little bit tonight before I go to bed because I doubt that it'll be 100% or at least or even like 80% 90% dry I don't think it'll be that dry by the time it's time for me to go to sleep so I will diffuse and then I will also band my hair because I already know my hair is gonna go <sighs> because usually the gel like a gel and a cream kind of like weigh my hair down a little bit and stretch out my curls whereas now that I don't have the gel and I just have the cream like I feel like, like I said it's gonna just just shrink up which is fine I'll be back tomorrow with dry hair wash and go with no gel <laughs> all right I'll see y'all tomorrow so it is the next day and sorry for the weird lighting it's like super early in the morning as you can see my hair is big and wild there's little to no definition there's lots of frizz my hair is very moisturized I can feel that my hair is moisturized and that it's not dry so that's great but as far as definition goes like I have no definition and this 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 is why I use gel <laughs> this is why I use gel for my wash and goes comment down below if y'all have perfected a wash and go without gel comment down below and let me know what you do because apparently I did something wrong or either just the wash and go with no gel is just not for me. I thank y'all so much for watching. I know that this was kind of a fail but I think it's good to show fails because not every method, not every product is gonna work for you so I think it's good to show the fails <laughs> sometimes. So again, like I said before, I appreciate y'all for watching, and until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Mm-mm. I'm putting this in a puff. <laughs> we gonna puff it out today. Not for me. <laughs>